The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So let's praise him. Not because of what he does, but because of, simply because of who he is. For he alone is worthy. Um, today, this morning, I'll be coming to you from James 1, 2 through 3, which reads, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. I also have the message version, and I like to read the message version because it breaks it down. So the message version says, Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and, sh and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. So whenever we're going through tests and trials in this life, the Bible says to consider it a gift, to consider it pure joy. And it, and it says for us to do that because when our faith is under pressure, um, it's really showing if our faith is going to, if we're going to give up or if we're going to trust God. So sometimes we can't always go around the mountain. We just have to go through it. Like Pastor said, we got to go through it and trust God. And God is going to take us through it. And at the end, it's going to develop strength in us and patience. Amen. Um, so let's just stick it out and stay with God with whatever we're going through. Because and, and we're not and God doesn't want us to try to figure it out, but He wants us to trust in Him. Amen. So let's just trust in Him. Amen. And He says um, that we um, are not supposed to figure it out on our own. Because God, He sees down the road. He sees ten years from now, and He knows what we need, and He knows what strength we need right now. So we just need to trust God through whatever we're going through. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for everyone that has come out here, Lord, to praise you and worship you, to receive a word on today, Lord. Because some have come, Lord, that they need a miracle, Lord, and they need to hear a word from you. So I thank you, Father God, that we forget about what we're going through, Lord, and we just put our focus on you in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, for whatever word that goes forth, that it will be planted on good ground. And I can't be attacked by the enemy and the tribe to steal from us, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for the that we will be changed.
sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship your holy name. Come on, let the whole church say, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord.
your praise.
whether you say it, he God whether you say it or not, amen? <laughs> you don't make him God. And when you start out there, the Lord don't make him God. He God all by himself. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. 
ready to bring back those that have turned away from you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're always ready. God, let us be ready. Let our hearts be ready. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sweet honey, Lord.